terms of his view. Uh, John. Uh, Jay, as I'm sure you remember, the president went in the Rose Garden on October 21st and I uh, talked about troubles with the website and said you can bypass the website and apply by phone or in person. And even said that once you get somebody on the phone, you can uh, usually takes about 25 minutes for an individual to apply, 45 minutes for a family. Um, new memos uh, released by the uh, Government Reform Committee uh, show that uh, the uh, CMS uh, was talking about how the very same issues were affecting uh, written applications, phone applications. In fact, one of the memos says, at the end of the day, we are all stuck in the same queue because all those applications have to go through the website, have to go through the same computer system. Did the president know that the very same problems would be facing consumers when they called on the phone, when he said that they could apply in 25 minutes? Well, John, days. as you know, uh, the answer is yes, as was reported widely at the time. The whole point is that CMS is processing paper applications through healthcare.gov, but it bypasses the need to create an account. And creating an account is what, le what led to the bulk of issues for users in the initial days. Initially, on the launch of uh, the marketplaces on October 1st, you were not able to do that uh, by phone. And in response to the troubles that users were having online, uh, uh, the unacceptable troubles that they were having, uh, we bulked up the staffing of the call centers and uh, made it possible for uh, individuals to call and, and enroll and, uh, you know, to sign up and, and bypass, most importantly, the creation of an account. So they could, that could be handled by the call-in centers. Uh, these applications are then processed through healthcare.gov. And we're working to fix healthcare.gov. But in terms of the user experience, the whole point was to alleviate the frustration that so many Americans were having online and to take that frustration away for them, from them and allow uh, a live person at a call-in center to uh, handle their questions and their uh, sign-ups and their enrollment for them. So I know this, I know it's spoken in tones of dramatic revelation, but it was a known fact at the time. Uh, well, we never pretended uh, uh, otherwise. So I, I think, as you know, because I know you've talked to people about this, uh, that, uh, you know, this is, the whole point was to beef up the call-in centers to, to, to give uh, um, the American people who were looking for information a way to avoid some of the frustrations they were having online. But, but Jay, uh, <laughs> uh, I want to go back to exactly... That would be that tone I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to go back to exactly what the president said. He said you can bypass the website and apply by phone or in person, and then it can be done in 25 minutes. But these memos say that at the end of the day, we are all stuck in the same queue because they all have to go through the same portal. John, I get it. But the person who calls isn't the one who continues to wait after the paper application is filled. Uh, you, right? you, your, your mocking is entertaining, but the president said that we, you could apply within 25 minutes. That's that right. was not true. The work that you do, I think everybody else is looking quizzically because there's a reason to be quizzical here. You call up, you, you give your information, you get the questions answered that you need answered, and then it's, they take over from there. And then you find out you know, what you're eligible for, uh, and the process right. goes forward. Once 25 you're, minutes? No, once your process, you know, once your application is processed. The point was to relieve some of the frustration that Americans were understandably experiencing. Well, and and it takes 25 minutes. Maybe you could the, that. What you, you're, if it's an individual, roughly, this is on average, the, the interaction you have when you give the information in order, and you bypass the uh, creation of an account and you sign up so that you didn't have to do that online. And then to enroll, obviously, you would, that, you know, you would give in the information you need. That would be processed. You would find out uh, how much you qualified for, and you could be enrolled that way. Jay, but obviously, but, but John, we have never said that you wouldn't, that the process, the endpoint of the process wouldn't still have to go through healthcare.gov. So this is not. Actually, that's not true, Jay. Look at your own words <laughs> on, on October 24th, the same day. You said you can enroll over the phone, you can enroll in person. On, on uh, uh, right. October 23rd, you said there are four ways to enroll in the exchanges. You didn't say oh, they all had to go John, through healthcare.gov. You said there are four ways to enroll John, in exchanges. You don't by have phone, to go through in person, at local health centers, or by, by mail, or the website. Okay. You said there were four different ways. There's only one way. It all has to go through, as you just said, healthcare.gov. I'm saying what Why I said you? and what everybody said. And again, you know, you can, I, you can I have this here. soliloquy by yourself, but the. No, I'm trying what, to understand why the president gave the American public the, the impression that they can imply. They could apply, not impression, told people they, they can could get apply on the phone in 25 and minutes. call, and the paperwork is filled out for them, and the process is taken over from there. And they, do, they enroll? 
when, when, the pro, when, when their paperwork is processed through healthcare.gov, but they don't have to go online to do it, is the point, John. That was the whole purpose of while we were fixing the website, making it uh, meet the standards that we set, that Americans could, had this alternative way uh, with beefed up staffing and new rules allowing the call-in centers to do this, the individuals on the call-in centers to do this, to provide that relief to Americans who were frustrated by the experience. I think you, I'm not sure what you think you've discovered here, John, but, but I mean, if you're asking me, with the, with the president yes, said I you, am. Can, you can bypass the website because you just said that it all has to go through the website. So which John, is it? I think we've been through this. Uh, the, I mean, you this you call. You have an experience with, you, you, you have a conversation with somebody in the call-in center, you give them your information, they process it for you, they bypass the creation of an account, which is where most of the bottlenecks were happening uh, for users on, on the website. Eventually that still has to go through healthcare.gov, but you've, you've, you've done the work no, it, with... It didn't do the eventually part. John, I, I, I give up. Well, let, 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 let me, one yeah. more thing from, from Kathleen Sebelius, tell me if this was accurate. This is October 24th. She said, out of the Phoenix call center, mm -hmm. a person on the other end of the phone uh, can get questions answered up to in you know, up to 150 languages, as well as walk somebody all the way through the process and enroll at the end of the day. Right at the end of the day, you give everybody, you give somebody your information. When you call up and sign up for something right now, John, and somebody takes your information and they process that, they process whatever it is you're signing up for and enrolling in. Uh, you know. They can do that once you're off the phone. You don't have to stay on the phone. That's the point: is to is to relieve uh, Americans who are frustrated by the their so own. You can enroll at the right. end of the day. Is that right? John, you can call somebody I, I up think and everybody enroll. else here understands what I'm saying. I'm I'm sorry I can't uh, say the same for you. Yes, Jim. Uh, 